Alright everybody, welcome back to Meadow Grove on the old school farming series. What have we got going on today? Well, we have Connor cutting some grass. We are in need of some silage bales for the cattle. So he's uh, cracking on down there in the lovely Ford with his Deutz uh, mower. And we're going to come in behind him and do a little wind rowing. Uh, what we're doing is field 15 and I think that could be it. Connor, are we doing any other fields today? Uh, we're also doing field number 14. Oh, gotcha. 14 and 15. So we get that bit of extra, extra bit of ads for them. Perfect. Just in case we run out of silage, of course, in the pit, so I'll make sure. Yeah, and that is a possibility, guys. We have bought some cows. Um, we have 12, so uh, they still need straw. When you give them straw, we're starting to get a little slurry, and we're starting to get a little milk. So, hopefully, we'll start to get a little money because, well, as you can see, it's not too bad right now, 97,000, but it could be better. So, without further we really ado. Get, we didn't really get much money off the Renault. No. So basically got the same price that we paid for the blue thing. Fire up the TM here. And we'll start rowing this up and getting ready for Baylor and Rapper. Uh, this will probably be a two-part series, guys. We'll probably do... We'll probably get it rowed up on uh, both fields, and then we will probably do uh, the Baylor and Rapping in another episode. We'll probably kind of run out of time, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the old school series. I we apologize that there hasn't been a video up for a while. Um, <laughs> the internet's not too good. No, and our server was. Anyone wants to send me their great internet? I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I wish I could send a line all the way across. No, the server, the company that we use, guys, um, had like a DDoS or something. So this server has been down. It was it was unplayable could not log into it. Uh, I couldn't even fill out a ticket for support. When I would go to fill out a ticket, they would just, uh, a message would come up saying, yep, we know we're having problems. And basically that was that. So looks like it's all sorted out now. <clears throat> and we should be good to go. Hopefully soon we'll be able to get a new mower, a bit of a wider one too, at some point. Yeah, I know we've been talking about that. Um, and just because, you know, it says old school, it might just be smaller stuff, not necessarily real old. There's only so much we can go when it comes to real old equipment. And, uh, and there's not really much stuff out for old school stuff. And, the, you know, and it also there's a time factor in there. You guys don't want to see us going around the same field. Uh, for hours on end, so. Wait till they go around again. Yep. Let him make some passes, but, um... So this is it, guys. This is our small farm. I like the old... I like the old smaller tractors. They're so awesome. Just kind of hang out right here. him get another pass get a good shot of that forward man that's a lovely tractor New Holland TM 165 she's beauty
So, I've been getting comments asking where the Sheep Farmer series is. Right, yeah, I saw and, that uh, in your comments. And uh, I'm working on that, we're working on getting that done, but right at this very moment, my internet is, so God knows when this episode's going to come out. <laughs> It could come out tomorrow, be the next day, could be any bloody day. Uh, Jim, if you yep. don't mind, I'll move the end there, please. I'll just split the field in half of it. Oh. I'll try it anyway. I'm kind of doing this in cab. All oh, right. Just to give it a bit more of a realistic look to it. Oh. And it's not too easy. No, I don't well, reckon no. it would be. I think if you had a front mower, then it'd be a bit easier. But I don't. All in time. All in time. Yeah, okay, guys, we're just looking at different uh, equipment options, <clears throat> different mowers and such. Before long, the farm is going to get very, very busy. Very good yield off this field, though, so far. Nice, uh, nice wind rows. Oh, you that boy can't spread it with those good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did a good job. The old white tail. Square. This wee bit of square on them. The other half? No bothers. I'll just finish this off. Not mean to do that. Back a bit. So yeah, guys, if there's if there's anything that you'd like to see on this old school series, feel free to leave a comment. Um, <clears throat> we will try to incorporate just about anything. Um, tractors, implements that you'd like to see. I think we pretty much got uh, well a lot of the tractors that uh, were requested. So perhaps if there's anything else you might want to see, just let us know, guys. Finish up here in order to get this road up. Do is 
put this row into one big row. It would be a good idea. Yeah. Baylor will be able to handle that, no problem. Pretty sure it could. Oh, yeah. this up. It seems like everybody, uh, judging by views and whatnot, really liked this series, and we're glad we uh, we put a lot of time into it. So there'll be plenty more to come. No need I'm to worry to about that. Now. Trying to decide now: should I uh, announce certain thing? Oh, that you've been working on. Yeah, I think it would be, uh, I think it'd be great. Yeah, it's already been announced, so... Another channel, so... <laughs> Might as well announce it here. Uh, ladies and gents, I am making a map of Prime Sim. So this is my very first map I'm making. It is a fictional map, so... Not really based anywhere. I think, uh, it's supposed to be like, kind of like Ireland, but again, it's fictional and it's the first map, so it's not really imperfect. But, yeah. I uh, know what the first question is going to be. Is it coming out for consoles? Lads, don't hate me. Don't hate me because of this. <laughs> no, it's not coming out for consoles. Because I have no idea how the hell that would work. Because I was thinking of putting in milk fruit into the map. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> Please don't hate me. Basically, guys, um, in the come near future, more than likely, um, there'll be more news on that map and what that map will be tied into. I'm going to say, guys, it's uh, not ready yet. It's good. I don't know when the release date's going to be. I just guys me know especially the map makers uh, you know testing all sorts of triggers and all that needs done so yeah so hopefully people will enjoy the map again it's my first map so if you find any problems in it but obviously there's going to be problems But I'll we, do my best. Yeah, and you know we will be rocking, steady, testing, trying everything out to make sure it works. And like I said, guys, it's going to be a part of something very special. Let's just say that the map makers from Air Ireland are very, very busy. Very, very busy indeed. Uh, well, we got in to see this field didn't do a very good job. No? No, there's some bits missing. We oh. missed some bits. Yeah, they did, around the outside, huh? Hmm. Well, we'll not be getting them back again. Well, they'll be getting their P-45, won't they? Oh, yeah. I 
damn it. <clears throat> that's really that's really all I have to say about the map. Uh, yeah, making a map, first map. So for anyone who wants to see very detailed stuff, uh, that's not going to happen, I don't think. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. <clears throat> Guys, I can just tell you from, from the screenshots that uh, Connor has sent me and shared with me, I think it's going to be a hit, and I believe that you will love it. And if you don't like it, just don't be... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for, for here? Um, don't be rude. Yeah, it. and don't be overcritical about it, guys. It's, it's, a, it's a first map. There's, you know... It's tough. And if you don't think it is, just open up Giants Editor and, and start making one for yourself. It's not easy, guys. Not. If it was easy, everybody it would really be doing isn't. it. Once an official announcement is made on the new project, we will fill you guys in because... I, I, I can't hardly, you know, keep it to myself. I want to tell everybody that's how excited you, I am for this. You really this. do want to tell everyone, but you built the bitch. Yes. But, just wait, guys. It's coming. Something special. We will test out uh, Connor's map. Give you guys a taste of it. Just um, releasing things on consoles, guys, is very tricky and very hard. We just, and a lot of it has to do with the licensing. Yep. Um, it has to be an official licensed product to be released on console. Um, whether you have uh, signs or different uh, tractors or things like that, if it's not licensed by Giants itself, it cannot go on console. So that that's the big kicker right there. And uh, I don't think I'll be releasing it for the Mod Hub either, so it could be on Mod Holster or some website. But there, when the day on release, there will definitely be a link to the map on the official release date. Still haven't figured out yet. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully there it is, soon. lads. I mean... Hopefully it'll be before Christmas. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, what a Christmas present it would be, huh? Oh, yeah. So stay tuned to this channel. Stay tuned to Connor's channel, Irish Agri Contracting. Yes. Um, as soon the second updates are ready, we will be giving them out to you guys. Of course, you know. Of course, I'm going to be doing a teaser for my map. Hmm. He's not. Can't wait for that. For maybe before the map goes into testing and going it off. Awesome. I, I'd like to say more about where where it is, but not. Say too much about my map already. So yeah, guys, big things coming out of Air Agri. Of course, you know even the. Though my, even uh, though my map's not an Air Agri map, before people are. Well, what I meant was you're, you know, you're part of Air yeah. Agri, so. Yeah. Always, I'm always busy. Way, it's, not, it's not an Air Agri map, just for people are. For people say. This is basically just me trying out something new. But maybe one day I will bring a map out for console. One day, if everything goes the way I want it. 
can't really make any promises. Yeah, like I said, guys, it's it's, it's tough. It's it's really hard to make a console map. Excuse me. Thank you. But as you guys know, um, in just almost right around a month from now will be the uh, class DLC or the Platinum Expansion. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I am very excited. Uh, I cannot wait for that to come out. That is going to be, to me, just just unbelievable. Um, I've pre-ordered mine today. Yeah, and, and guys, it is up for pre-order. I would highly, highly course, suggest you doing that. that as well. Hmm? Yeah. You get two pre order bonuses with that. Yes. So, highly, highly suggest uh, checking that out. I think no matter where you live, it's $20 or 20 euros if you already own the game. 35 pieces of equipment plus two bonus. I mean that that now that is a DLC. You know, a lot of times you may get ten or twelve pieces of equipment. I've never seen them do one with this much stuff. So class uh, being introduced for the first time in Farming Simulator, they are coming in with a bang. And John Deere, don't forget. Yeah. They brought out two major brands in one game. Yeah, in, in one year. So. Um, like it or hate it, guys, Giants is trying to move in the right direction, there's no doubt. Um, well, I think definitely for the next Farm Sim, leave out the placeables. Go back to the way it was in Farm Sim 17. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, having, ever, having everything that's placeable is great. It's not. No. I kind of wish it would just it, it feels weird. Stay, stay the way it was, yeah. Like, I like the way yeah, you build your farm, that's 100%. But, just when you're mapping and all that crack. Even I, now you have to deal with that. But, what could you do? Oh, I agree, yeah. 100%. Definitely a few more brands they should bring into the game. There's a good few brands out there. Such as Mikhail, to bring them in. What is this stuff? They should definitely add more Keverland equipment. Agreed. Such as the mowers, that wind rower you have on. I'm losing my concentration here. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, what else, Sister? Uh, more Vicon stuff, such as the fertilizer spreader. Uh, of course, the hay bob, but <clears throat> I'm going to leave that to uh, 4D modern. Ooh, since he does excellent work. Yeah, I agree about the Mikhail um, and the Keverlin stuff. I was telling the lads the other day, um, I was kind of shocked and surprised and excited all at the same time. I was driving down the road here in the United States, and there was a brand new Mikhail Baylor behind this pickup truck that passed me. So, I mean, they're already here in the States, guys. Very, very shocking. Was it a 550 or a Fusion? Uh, it was not a Fusion. It was just a round Baylor, yeah. Ah, uh, right. So it could be the 550 then, so. Yeah, it, I think it was a little different because it was the um, kind of like a U.S. style big, big round Baylor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But nonetheless, I mean, I was, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, we're seeing class equipment over here, guys. We're seeing McHale. Uh, we're seeing the big square balers now. We never had those for years. Uh, so it's catching on just about everywhere, you know, in all countries. And I'm excited to see some of these brands that, you know, especially coming yeah. in over here, there wasn't much competition for 
John Deere, you know, the big three, John Deere, New Holland, and, and uh, International, so. Case IH, whatever you want to call it, I still call them Internationals. That's, in my heart, they'll always be Internationals, but I digress on that. Here's another game they should make. They should make, a, basically, it's a farm sim, farm simulator game, but they should call it a Farming Simulator Old School Edition. Yes, or maybe even like a DLC pack for that. Basically, they'll have finger bar mowers or sickle mowers, as guys in Eric calls them, uh, such as the drum mower I have in the back of the 6.6. Six. You know, basically, basically old school stuff, modern classic stuff. But you'd be talking about like the 390T Massey Ferguson, uh, the 6.610 Ford, even though Ford would never come in. And I think, you know, it would be well received. I know it would be well received from the community. You know. Yep. Just think if, if anybody, you, me, anybody could sit down with Giants on a Q&A and they would ask, what do you want? I think a lot of people would agree with that. You know, has the game come a long way since FS11? 100%. Has the game come a long way from FS15? A hundred percent. You know, they're they're constantly doing things. So, um, I'm excited for the future of Farm Sim. But I was reckoning for I was thinking for the uh, for an older school Farm Sim. Like you'd have vehicles such as the old Fergie Twenty, uh, the equipment for that Fergie. Basically, like, you know, stuff from the sixties and then. Sure. All that. So basically, like starting off equipment, you could start off with a week Fergie Twenty, or. Uh, Massive version 165, an old Ford 4000. That's what people want to see. Sure. The equipment they grew up with. Basically. Yeah. Like me, I grew up with a Massive version 135. I would always love that tractor to bits. Excuse me. I don't care what people say. Because. A, one, a, a 135, not a 135, correct? A 135. Someone says 135. I don't know. But if you think about it, it sounds much better when you say 135. It does, I agree. <coughs> <Can't be. coughs> oh yeah, of course. I'm never letting that go. Never. <laughs> never. That's literally putting a nail on my coffin saying 135. That's what that is. But uh, the joints should definitely listen to the community. So, but if you think about it, I'd say nearly everyone in the farm sim community are using these style of tractors and these years of tractors and machinery. Oh sure. And I think they're trying to leave a little bit of oh, creativity to no. the odd makers. No. <clears throat> yeah. But I think it would be a great addition okay. to the base game. But at the same time. Yeah. Sure, I agree. And then there's another thing they should do to the maps for the next one. Bring in the British and the Irish map for once. I'm not complaining about the base game now, some of them are good. Some of them. Well, that's... Some of them are uh, decent, some of them are... Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of their player base is Irish and, and UK yeah. players, so... <clears throat> It'll make more sense. Oh, it, yeah, it would, 100%. A little, a little bit. I know there's some people from like Germany and Poland and all that, and of course America. But just for one game, maybe two games, just bring in an Irish map and a British map. But to be honest with you, I can't stand a map with no hedges or fences around the field. I hate it. 
Well, yeah, that's just all depending on where you grew up, you know. I hate it. I will still play a map, of course. I'll still play the map, but I'll hate it because it won't be the thing. I agree. Anything else? Anything else I wonder? Talk about. I don't know, guys. Leave us a comment. Um, what would you like to see? What would you like to see on this series? Um, and we'll definitely, we, I personally, and I know Connor does, we read every single comment. Um, we may not be able to respond to every single comment, but I will at least give it a thumbs up. I will give it a heart if I like it. Uh, we, we are small enough channels that we still uh, try to reach out to our viewers and we read every yep. single comment. So, um, None of how both our channels are just slowly blowing up. Oh, it's great. It's great. I didn't even think I'd get this far. I didn't either. Especially for, start, especially for starting on console. Yeah, I never expected. Um, and I know it sounds silly, guys. 400 subscribers in the, in the big picture isn't nothing. But we have, I have 400 subscribers that watch the content. A lot of these, you look at some of these big channels, they may have 50, 60,000 or more. But they're not getting 50, 60,000 views, so that means they're getting subs. Nobody's watching them. So, I appreciate it. Connor appreciates it. We all appreciate it. A hundred percent. So I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we will get it bailed. We will get it wrapped, and uh, that's that'll be those two fields finished. So. Um, as you know from watching my other videos, guys, 500 sub uh, giveaway coming up as soon as we hit it. Class DLC, Platinum Expansion, on Steam. Uh, it'll be, I'm trying to do a win it before you can play it type thing, so it's in your library, ready to go on the 22nd of October. Uh, Connor, anything you'd like to say to your uh, your viewers? Everyone on my channel, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, of course. Uh, sorry for a late upload, because bad. So if anyone wants to donate their internet, please. <laughs> I'd love it. I'm struggling. It's not great. It ain't healthy. I'm doing my best here. Uh, hopefully they'll get you some new stuff put in. I had to wait years and years. I've been wanting to stream forever, to but I didn't have the internet for it, so... I'll, go, I'll try and get back into streaming as well. I've only done one stream... Like on the PC, I've done streams before, but like, not on the PC. First PC one was on American Truck. That entire month, we were doing American Truck. Oh yeah, that was back in July. Why that seems so yeah. long ago, don't it? It was, only, old. it was only like two months ago, but that seems like an eternity ago. Oh yeah. So I'll try and do another stream. That's if the internet will hold. Like I said, it's rubbish. And I need a boost. Right now, currently, I am on my 4G. Oh gosh. Currently. Right now, I'm on my 4G. Oh, yeah. That's no word of a lie. But oh. it actually holds, like for a multiplayer game, it's pretty good for a multiplayer game. Good. Like I didn't like once. Like some internet companies. Right, right. Yeah, it's better than I thought it would be. Uh, with that said, I won't even tell you what I'm on. Uh, I'll just keep that to myself. You're probably not you. <laughs> I bet you you're better than me anyway. <laughs> well, I've got uh, one gig up, one gig down. One gig I fiber. Oh, I wanna. Yeah, it's class. It it makes uploading videos a breeze. I wanna. So that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to always protect your shaft, and we'll allow Connor to give his outro. Again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and hit the notification bell whenever a video or a stream is up. And also subscribe to Sim with Jim, because he's trying to get up to 500 subs, and he's doing a little giveaway. And what is the prize? It is the Class DLC. Platinum Ooh. expansion.
Ooh. It'll be a copy on Steam, a Steam gift. So I'm trying to get there as quick as we can. So like I said earlier, you'll have it before you can even play it. So the second it goes live, boom, it's already in, in your uh, inventory there. And you can start using class equipment before anybody else. Now, I don't know if people want to give away on my channel. Oh, I'm or sure they I? do. Everybody loves giveaways, Connor. Should I? Should I, do Should I do a giveaway, guys? I've never done a giveaway before, so this is my first time doing it, too. So, if you think I should do a uh, giveaway, comment down below, either on my channel or Jimmy's channel. Dirty see it. And, um... Yeah, we'll see what we can give out. I, more, more than likely, I'll also give out a Platinum Edition. Oh, in. there we go. So there could be... Wait, that's one, two... I think KB's given one out as well, isn't he? He is, yes. He's given one out. That's three. He's given one out soon, and he's also giving one out during a live stream the day it comes out on the 22nd of October. So that's four, guys. At least. Four Platinum Expansions. At least. And just to put it in perspective, guys, yesterday I was watching a video, a guy had 10,000 sub giveaway, and it was only a copy of Farming Sim. So, think about that. What would you give away for 10,000 sub? Well, I'm not sure if I would go as mad as KP has gone. Um, no, dear God, no. Everybody here watches Air Agri Contractors. Um... He's given away a gaming PC at 10,000 subs, guys. That is insanity. Fair play to KP. Fair play. No, I would probably give away either a PS4 or a bloody Xbox. Ooh, I, but still, it's still a great giveaway, though. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's, that's just me. I, I probably would do it, probably not. I'll probably come up with something absolutely mental. <laughs> yeah, it seems so far away, but we'll we'll, we'll get there one of these I'll days, just guys. Just out of reach. Yep, we'll get there. it take a little time. Um, one thing we're doing, guys, is we're trying to be um, as original as we can. We're trying to grow our channels um, the old-fashioned way, so to speak, versus, you know, having a huge channel, you know, plug us in for a video. I don't like getting viewership like that. I like doing my own. Um, I think there's a little more satisfaction in that. So, and Connor feels the same way. We've talked about that. So, we really, really appreciate all the support, and all the views, all the thumbs up, all the comments. We 100% legitimately just couldn't thank you guys more. So. That's going to do it for me, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video, and remember to always protect your shaft.